just want to talk to you for a second about Matthew 6, 33. We all know the verse, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto you. And I know a lot of you believe it, but the practicing of it doesn't always come into play. For me, for most Christians, actually. So, something happened in October. That was my birthday month. And I decided I was going to go full force with this thing that God told me to do. I had been doing it little by little. I had been dabbling in it. Um, it seemed like really big and insurmountable to me, the thing that I felt like he wanted me to do. So I was doing it here and there on the side while doing my other stuff, justifying, well, I have to make a living. I have to do this stuff for my acting career, which I feel like God called me out here to do. And it, I just had all these excuses rather than running to this thing full force. And in October I said, you know what, I'm just going to put my acting on hold until I finish this thing that I feel like God wants me to do. So I stopped submitting. I used to submit every day um, to different casting notices. I stopped doing all that so I could just focus on this one thing I felt like God told me to do. Well, within two months of stopping <laughs> the pursuit of acting so I could do this thing I felt like God called me to do, I booked five paid acting jobs and have had more auditions from my agent in the last two and a half months than I had the whole year previously. So I am here to tell you that whole seeking first the kingdom of God, then all this stuff will be added unto you is true. And I've seen it happen over and over in my life. So I just want to encourage you that if, if there's something God has told you to do and you've been kind of skirting around it or not doing it full force or just kind of halfway doing it, just do it. I mean, we know from reading Deuteronomy 28 that when we obey God, everything we do is blessed. We're blessed in the city, blessed in our womb, blessed going in, blessed coming out, blessed in the field, blessed everywhere. So take him at his word. He's not a man that's going to lie. So do that thing that's been nagging at you that you feel like God's told you to do and watch all the doors of favor and blessings and that thing that you actually really want swing open to you in your favor just by your obedience. Thanks. Hey, it's Catherine. Thank you for sticking around to the end to watch my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Leave me some comments. I would love to hear from you guys what's going on with you. And there's a little bell button you can click on too so you're always alerted when I upload a new video. Thank you for being part of my community. See you guys in the next video.